Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a special video because we are celebrating me. We are in Big 23. I'm going to be doing 22 lessons. I learned at the age of 22 and I'm still continuing to learn and I'm still learning these lessons now. If you are younger and you know what I would have told my younger self, growing up some things here are the lessons that i've learned my birthday falls in between christmas and new year's so it's the perfect time to do some reflection my first lesson is invest in yourself whether it's youtube whether it's financially well you should be doing that too opening up a savings account and if you put even just a dollar every week or five dollars every week whatever you can do something for yourself you know to ultimately be your best version of yourself number two is nothing is as hard as you think it is if you break it down into steps this is something i've used when i have big essays or if i have a lot of homework do if i think about all right how can i take 10 minutes out of my day to break down this goal into steps then we'll be chilling number three this is one i really struggled with this past summer it's okay to change your mind trust your gut whether it's career-wise, which is what the case was for me. Don't be stuck and, you know, scared. It's okay to feel vulnerable and not know what's next for you. But at the end of the day, go with your gut. And if you need to make that decision to change, change. Number four, some people are meant to be in your life for a certain amount of time and then dip. So whether that's friendships, relationships. I never regret meeting anybody because those you know interactions and those things have taught me lessons within itself see it sucks when things don't work out but you always can look at those as lessons learned and better things will be coming your way so everybody you meet in your life is for a reason but that doesn't mean they have to stay in your life forever number five is one person's success does not take away from your own the age of social media instagram all that stuff as women we need to uplift each other and that's how we're gonna rise together. In school, a lot of people think the way to be popular or whatever is to tear other people down and to look cool or whatever. But actually that's not cool. Not everyone wants the same outcomes in life, so cheer that other person on. And hopefully that energy will reciprocate and come back to you. Number six is your money because you never know what is gonna happen. Always have an emergency savings fund because anything can happen. You can pop your tire, your car might not even start. You might have a leaky hole in your ceiling and you need to replace your roof. You never know what can happen, so always have money saved up. Number seven is you don't have to do good things to be good, if that makes sense. Something I used to always want to do was have good grades, have good attendance, good everything to fulfill being a quote-unquote good person. But you are good enough as you are and who you are you don't need to be obviously it's good to do those things but don't feel pressured and try to confine to a mold of a good person you don't have to prove it just let things run its course number eight is do not bottle things up a law of attraction so i always think i gotta think positive 24 7 gotta have those happy good thoughts because if i think negative then that's gonna reciprocate back to me but you don't want to bottle things up don't keep things inside if something frustrates you if something makes you upset vocalize it speak on it don't suck it all in because eventually that bottle is gonna pop and you're gonna have a meltdown if something bothers you tell that person just communicate how you're feeling and don't let those little things bottle up inside of you number nine is introduce yourself to new people kind of branching out setting good vibes out so they can come back to you me personally i'm naturally an introvert so it is hard for me to just go up to somebody and talk to them but you never know what connections you can make from that and you can you know build your network up or if you see somebody you haven't seen in a long time 10 another communication step talk it out building confidence lay your cards out on the table don't hold back how you're feeling or things whether it's your feelings for a person that maybe you're interested in or like a friendship you want to build lay your cards out on the table and just let it out there the worst thing you could do one is get rejected and two why hold back because you never know what could happen can help you just 
get it all out there girl lay your cards out on the table who knows what could happen number 11 all right so i just said lay your cards out on the table and let everything out but don't do it when you're drunk don't drunk text because you will regret it in the morning <laughs> number 12 is have gratitude especially for the times we're living in right now with the pandemic just be happy that you're healthy the air you breathe that you have a roof over your head appreciate those little things you do have because at the end of the day those are the things that make up who you are those little things number 13 a lesson i learned is it's not what you know it's who you know especially in our generation having those connections know everything textbook wise brain wise but you're a horrible person no one's gonna hire you but rather if you may know it but you know a bunch of people in that industry already you're gonna have the connections to grow in the way you want to so be nice to everyone is basically what i'm trying to say number 14 is mental health is just as important as physical health they are both important sure you are aware of your mental health if you need to invest in a therapist or talk to a family member a close cousin that's my go-to my cousin caitlin if you don't have somebody to talk to you can even get a journal which i also really like to do self-care journal that you can jot down your notes and just let it out let it flow from the brain number 15 being late affects other people's time not just yours something i've worked on doing i feel like i'm very punctual now compared to when i was younger jot where you're going into google maps and literally will tell you what time you're gonna get there so you can know what time to leave because you know you're affecting other people's time money too okay 16 is a my go-to purse essentials with you especially if you're traveling because this happened to me and i didn't have some of these things and i was pretty butthurt all right a piece of gum tampons water and makeup remover because those things are essential or i have more in my purse but those things for minimum have on you because you never know when you might need it you never know where you might end up if your train doesn't come on time and you're stuck which is what happened to me you didn't have what you needed always 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 unlock number 17 is stop renting i'm a victim of paying rent and it was literally just such a waste of money save up for a good down payment on a mortgage so you can have some property for yourself number 18 if you are a youtuber or take pictures back up your footage use google photos if you want to have photos that you can save without wasting memory because there are so many times i've had pictures that i'm trying to find that i lost because i didn't back up my storage or even videos yes videos that i have made that i didn't back up i didn't save and then i lost the footage they're gone so make sure you back up your footage 19 is focus on yourself and everything will come into play i feel like this happened to me when i focused on myself things were just attracting themselves to me and at the time i didn't realize well, focus on yourself if you just got out of a relationship my girlfriends talk about this all the time i feel like when you're not looking for a relationship that's when all the boys be coming so they see you're glowing you're happy you're focusing on yourself and honestly that's attractive you're hustle you're on the, your grind who wouldn't want to be with somebody like that but then when you're looking for a man they're nowhere to be found focus on yourself okay number 20 being comfortable isn't always good you got to take risks to grow we grow when we're in those uncomfortable states when we're vulnerable when we're pushed a little tested a little you see if you want to ask for a raise do it ask for a raise take that risk because you might get it who knows number 21 is say thank you to your parents they are human too they've done a lot for you in most cases i hope they have to help raise you and give you the best life they can so make sure you show gratitude for everything they've sacrificed 22 life goes by fast it i feel like every year of life i'm living is going by faster and faster it's kind of scary but i'm saying this because travel start a business celebrate all those little victories because life goes by fast whether it's getting to a certain amount of subscribers you know do whatever your heart desires oh my camera just died i hope my point got across that was my last lesson anyway happy new year i hope everyone enjoys it's looking real living roomish guys we're marking one year soon on youtube that's crazy to even say that almost a year ago i started my channel so can't wait for what's in store i'll catch you guys in my next video bye